Cassiopeia A is a supernova remnant in the constellation Cassiopeia and the brightest extrasolar radio source in the sky at frequencies above 1 GHz. The supernova occurred approximately 11,000 light years away within the Milky Way. The expanding cloud of material left over from the supernova now appears approximately 10 light years across from Earth's perspective. In wavelengths of visible light, it has been seen with amateur telescopes down to 234 mm in with filters. It is estimated that light from the stellar explosion first reached Earth approximately 300 years ago, but there are no historical records of any sightings of the supernova that created the remnant. Since CAZ is circumpolar for mid northern latitudes, this is probably due to interstellar dust absorbing optical wavelength radiation before it reached Earth, although it is possible that it was recorded as a sixth magnitude star 3 Cassiopeiae by John Flamsteed on August 16, 1680. Possible explanations lean toward the idea that the source star was unusually massive and had previously ejected much of its outer layers. These outer layers would have cloaked the star and reabsorbed much of the light released as the inner star collapsed. CAZ was among the first discrete astronomical radio sources found. Its discovery was reported in 1948 by Martin Ryle and Francis Graham Smith, astronomers at Cambridge, based on observations with the Long Michelson interferometer. The optical component was first identified in 1950. CAZ is 3C461 in the third Cambridge catalogue of radio sources and G111.7 2.1 in the Green catalogue of supernova remnants. Topic: <laughs> Earlier discovery. Calculations working back from the currently observed expansion point to an explosion that would have become visible on Earth around 1667. Astronomer William Ashworth and others have suggested that the astronomer Royal John Flamsteed may have inadvertently observed the supernova on August 16, 1680, when he catalogued a star near its position. Another suggestion from recent cross disciplinary research is that the supernova was the mythical, noonday star observed in 1630, that heralded the birth of Charles II, the future monarch of Great Britain, at any rate, no supernova occurring within the Milky Way has been visible to the naked eye from Earth since. <laughs> Expansion The expansion shell has a temperature of around 50 million degrees Fahrenheit 30 megakelvins, and is expanding at 4,000–6,000 km per second. Observations of the exploded star through the Hubble telescope have shown that, despite the original belief that the remnants were expanding in a uniform manner, there are high-velocity outlying eject knots moving with transverse velocities of 5,500–14,500 km per second with the highest speeds occurring in two nearly opposing jets. When the view of the expanding star uses colors to differentiate materials of different chemical compositions, it shows that similar materials often remain gathered together in the remnants of the explosion. Radio source CAZ had a flux density of 2720 plus or minus 50 JY at 1 GHz in 1980. Because the supernova remnant is cooling, its flux density is decreasing. At 1 GHz, its flux density is decreasing at a rate of 0.97 plus or minus 0.04% per year. This decrease means that, at frequencies below 1 GHz, CAZ is now less intense than Cygnus A. CAZ is still the brightest extrasolar radio source in the sky at frequencies above 1 GHz. Topic. X-ray source In 1999, the Chandra X-ray Observatory found a «hot point-like source» close to the center of the nebula that is the neutron star remnant left by the explosion. Although CAS X1 or CAS XR1, the apparent first X-ray source in the constellation Cassiopeia was not detected during the June 16, 1964, Aerobe sounding rocket flight, it was considered as a possible source. CAZ was scanned during another Aerobe rocket flight of October 1, 1964, but no significant X-ray flux above background was associated with the position. 
CA's XR-1 was discovered by an Aerobi rocket flight on April 25, 1965, at RA 23 hours 21 minutes deck plus 58 degrees 30. CA's X-1 is CA's A, A type 2 SNR at RA 23 hours 18 minutes deck plus 58 degrees 30, the designations Cassiopeia X-1, CA's XR-1, CA's X-1 air no longer used, but the X-ray source is CA's A SNR G 111.7-02.1 at 2U 2321 plus 58. Supernova reflected echo Recently, an infrared echo of the Cassiopeia A explosion was observed on nearby gas clouds using Spitzer Space Telescope. The recorded spectrum proved the supernova was of type IIB, meaning it resulted from the internal collapse and violent explosion of a massive star, most probably a red supergiant with a helium core which had lost almost all of its hydrogen envelope. This was the first observation of the infrared echo of a supernova whose explosion had not been directly observed which opens up the possibility of studying and reconstructing past astronomical events. Phosphorus detection In 2013, astronomers detected phosphorus in Cassiopeia A, which confirmed that this element is produced in supernovae through supernova nucleosynthesis. The phosphorus to iron ratio in material from the supernova remnant could be up to 100 times higher than in the Milky Way in general. See also List of supernova remnants Light echo References External links 3D visualization of Cassiopeia A, BBC News